Hello everyone, the year of 2021 is close. I have picked 10 most promising uh, strategy games from my point of view of the year. So here is the list. Warhammer Age of Sigmar is a turn-based strategy game planned for release in early 2021. Uh, the game is being developed by Gasket Games and published by Focus Home Interactive. It is said to be the first Warhammer game that adapts the Age of Sigmar to a video game. The game features uh, fast-paced uh, tactical battles, dozens of upgradable units, equipment and skills, and single-player and uh, 1v1 online battles. There is a lot of hype around the game, guys. Uh, on their trailer, they have over 1 million uh, views. So this game is one of the most awaited of, uh, of the year. Prehistoric Kingdom. This is a sandbox park management dinosaurs game that is planned for release in the second quarter of 2021. The game is a mixture of Planet Zoo when it comes about the management, diversity and sandbox features, and an extended version of Jurassic World Evolution due to the huge variety of dinosaurs. The game is developed by Blue Meridian and published by Crytivo. Very excited for the game guys, as I said, uh, it's another uh, another great uh, dinosaurs game that is uh, being launched. We don't have much parks that include dinosaurs. We had Jurassic World Evolution and a few other uh, Jurassic games, but that was pretty much it. This is the first game to actually be that uh, having so much depth as Planet Zoo, for example, when it comes about a uh, park building. Age of Empires 4. This is a long-awaited sequel of Age of Empires series. After the HD remake into definitive edition of all previously released Age of Empire games, Age of Empires 4 enters its final stages of development and is planned to be released by Microsoft in 2021. Uh, Age of Empires 4 is being developed by Relic Entertainment, the same developer that stood behind Company of Heroes and Warhammer 40k Dawn of War series, making it a titan when it comes about real-time strategy games development. Either way, hopes for Age of Empires 4 are high and the expectations are even higher. And from the trailer, we can see that the game looks pretty good. Let's hope that the uh, gameplay is the same. King's Bounty 2. This is a turn-based strategy planned for release in March 2021. It has been 7 years since the series got an update and 14 years since the first King's Bounty game was released. King's Bounty 2 brings a more interactive campaign through the use of uh, cinematics and a uh, much more interactive uh, UI for the player a much more tactical battlefield with terrain affecting the combat. Basically, if you have the higher ground, then you have an advantage. Uh, unique squads, new character development system, and a unique blend of realism and fantasy. Nice! Ancient Cities. I was hoping that the game would have been released this year, but it looks like the development process still needs more time. But, guys, this city building has kept the community on hold for more than over two years. After a successful Kickstarter and Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign, the closed alpha has launched. So, we have some good news with the backers receiving exclusive access to the game. Ancient Cities is one of the most promising city building games in the past few years. Combining both survival and city building elements, Ancient Cities is set in the ancient times, 
The player starts with a nomadic tribe and has to manage resources, increase population, improve technologies and build a sustainable city, all this while it has to survive the many perils of the time. Stronghold Warlords. This is my favorite for the year. Stronghold Warlords. This is the latest installment in the Stronghold series. Although it was set for release this year, October 2020, the developers decided to postpone the release of the game until January 2021. I think it had something to do with uh, the situation in the world right now and it kind of affected their development process. Stronghold Warlords is the first in its series to be set in Asia. In Stronghold Warlords you build a castle, you manage your warlords, you recruit unique units for the series and play through the campaign starting from the 3rd century before Christ's China and ending with the Mongol Empire and ultimately become the greatest lord and build the most beautiful castle, I guess. Here comes Bessie! Ah! Starship Troopers Terran Command. This is the first real-time strategy game based on the Starship Troopers movie. Uh, the game is uh, promises to feature limitless replayability through the dynamically generated campaigns, dozens of unique units types, each having special abilities, tactical gameplay with terrain elevation, true line of sight and true line of fire, an extensive technology tree and lots of bugs. This is going to be some sort of a uh, last stand type of game. This is pretty much what it is going to be based on. Uh, you no longer have the last stand uh, type of uh, gameplay where you have to defend against zombie. This time you have to take uh, the last stand in the uh, starship uh, universe where you defend against a lot of bugs. Manor Lords is said to be the most realistic medieval city building game ever released, aiming to combine city building with real time strategy. It features realistic city planning, fortifications, units on walls, gunpowder, siege engines, realistic battles with large scale unit formations, morale and flanking, fatigue and weather. The game seems to have it all. Um, I think it's the second uh, game that, uh, after Stronghold Warlords, that I look forward to play this year really badly. And I think it does have a lot from the uh, Stronghold series, because you can build a castle, you can ma manage an economy, you can put units on the walls and so on. And these are features uh, mainly found in uh, the Stronghold series.
Humankind is a turn-based strategy game that allows players to create and develop their unique civilization from the ancient to the modern age. Humankind is a direct threat to the Civilization series and even though it's not even released yet, there is plenty of attention drawn towards it. The game features city building and tactical elements, the player must expand, gather resources, manage armies, trade and manage diplomacies and ultimately achieve victory over the opponent in a game with endless possibilities or of endings. And um, the developers behind Humankind also have a vast experience when it comes about turn-based strategy games with uh, the Endless Space uh, series and um, other similar games being launched previously by, by the same developer. Viking City Builder. This is a real time that combines uh, city building as well um, and is set for release in uh, 2021. This game is one of the few city building games featuring the Norse culture. In uh, Viking City Builder, you have to build a Viking city, manage your citizens, grow your economy, and ultimately fortify it against European invaders but you also have to wage war and defend against your enemies. These are, in my opinion, guys, the most awaited 10 strategy games of 2021. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the patience. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to uh, check out my official sponsor G2A.com and make sure to check out my other list with upcoming games of 2021. I have a list with over 30 games uh, also on my channel, so check it out. Thanks.